Hello, welcome to my video presentation. My name is Tommy and I'm a software engineer currently pursuing a part-time master's program in intelligence systems at NUS ISS. My group members consist of Gary, Ritesh, Suraj, Paul and Ani. In this video, I'll be talking about system design of our project, the idea behind it, and I'll be giving a simple use case demo. Now, before I talk about system design, I have to talk about Drews, which is the main driving force uh, behind our system. Drews is a business rules management system. It is open source, it is Java based, and it enables logic to be applied to data. Now, um, what do I mean by this? Uh, say an applicant goes to a bank manager and submits a mortgage loan application. The bank manager is going to review your application and look at your salary, your age, whether or not you own a home and your credit rating. If you are eligible, the bank manager will give an approval. Now with Drews, you can actually boil down the logic that the bank manager has used and apply it onto a data object such as a mortgage loan application to arrive at a, a conclusion, whether or not you should approve the, the application or deny the application. Now let's look at the system design of our project. We have a UI and service layer. We are communicating with the rules engine from the service layer. We have a mon model management project folder, which is a centralized area to hold our data object so that the service layer and rules engine will be able to receive, retrieve the data object structure and use the same data object structure uh, from this model management project folder. We also have a H2 database, which is an in-memory database. Um, we use this database because uh, it will be easier for people to uh, deploy this project locally on any machine and be able to start using the system. Now for our project, we decided to look at the home rental market in Singapore. When people are looking to rent, they will conduct their own research online. They will look at available rental listings and they will look at price, location and amenities nearby. They will then proceed to conduct an interview with a real estate agent or landlord. Now it is at this point where uh, the, the agent or the landlord will ask questions like, uh, uh, are you a foreigner? Do you have a work permit? And so on and so forth. Then they will proceed to show the apartment and if everything is okay, they will make an agreement to rent out the apartment. So we wanted to create a system whereby it will make things easier for someone who's looking to rent. It will be able to recommend um, the best rental listing for you. Now, before we could uh, go on to develop the system, we had to do a knowledge discovery first. So in order to discover more knowledge about this process, we had to conduct some interviews and surveys. Now, through our interviews and surveys, I'll give a quick um, overview of uh, the, the knowledge that we have discovered. Now, um, we found out that generally speaking, when the, the person who's looking to rent is studying or working in the North Zone, uh, then generally the kind of rental listings they'll look at are also rental listings that are located in the North. This is for the convenience factor. Now, of course, if it's just one person looking to rent, uh, they will only look for a single room. Uh, they won't rent out an entire apartment. They will just rent out one room in the apartment. Likewise, if it's a whole family who's looking to rent, uh, then they will rent the whole apartment and not just one or two rooms in a, in a whole apartment. And finally, uh, generally when they're not driving, um, they will look for rental listings that have an MRT nearby. This is a very important factor for them and it's almost like a deal breaker. Um, they wouldn't rent an apartment if it doesn't have an MRT nearby. So uh, with these basic uh, rules, we can proceed to kind of uh, start creating our system. And I will give a simple use case demo. So for this use case demo, we'll be looking at a person who's working here in Singapore. Uh, he's working at the Apple office, which is located in the North Zone, and he is here alone. So for the budget, we will put $1,000. Purpose of stay, work. The postal code of our workplace is the Apple office postal code. Will I be renting a family? No. Do I cook frequently? No. Will I be driving? No. And do I exercise frequently? No. 
So we see here that the system has recommended us with two listings, uh, which is within our budget. At the same time, uh, there is an MRT and bus stop nearby, and there's a food court because we don't cook. And we are only looking to rent a single room, which is correct. So this is the end of the use case demo. So I've come to the end of my video presentation. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.